Welcome to Business Talk here on Business Tech and uh, for downloading and making us among the top 10% of downloaded podcasts on Spotify this year. Uh, really, it's all down to you. And uh, we, we love to produce content that you want to download. And my next guest is uh, certainly a fay with that as he's uh, overseeing this transition from a telco to a techco. With telecommunications coverage reaching more and more people around the world, we see many of the telcos repositioning themselves uh, as the value adders moving into this tech space. And MTN certainly at the forefront of this transition locally. I'm joined by Dr. Nkorsi Kamalo, who's General Manager for Product and Capability at MTN. That's a very interesting title. Uh, Nkorsi, welcome to the podcast. Great to chat. Your strategic alliance with Microsoft is part of this broader transition to being a telco, to become a techco. Could you just unpack the difference between these two terms? I think we throw away the, um, you know, the names and the buzzwords all the time. But what does it mean to go from telco to techco? It's quite an interesting um, transition that we are going through. <clears throat> We've always known MTN to be a SIM-based company, a company that is providing connectivity, whether it's mobile or it's fixed. Now we are transitioning to become a technology company, which was an obviously abbreviated as a tech co, right? And a tech co provides services that are over and above the connectivity layer. MTN is offering services like uh, cloud and data center services, security, IoT, unified uh, communications. Um, and these are services that are sitting on top of the, the network. This is what technology companies are offering today. So we see ourselves more than just a connectivity player, but a company that can compete comfortably with technology businesses out there even better. And, and that's the key here, the, the fact that you can compete uh, more than comfortably in, in certain instances, even better, given the data that you're sitting on. And we've seen the shift divesting from physical infrastructure like towers, rather choosing to lease and then focusing on this particular core. If you have to look at the why, you know, Simon Sinek always says, find your why. Why is MTN transitioning from being a telco to becoming a techco? A very good question. So look, we as MTN, we've, we, we operate uh, uh, and we are guided by our belief system, right? We believe that um, everybody deserves a modern connected life. Uh, what that basically means is we use digital capabilities to ensure that uh, an average user out there across all our markets can have access to quality information at their fingertips. The ability to provide connectivity is a tick in the box, but we need to drive now acceleration of applications delivered through devices yeah. that we obviously sell through our normal channels and actually get people to start leveraging the benefits that come with connectivity into accessing information. The access to technology makes a difference in people's lives. People get jobs through connectivity to technology. People save lives. You know, there's doctors that are already leveraging technologies that are, you know, um, where you can engage with a client remotely and be able to help someone who's needing doctor. And we saw that during COVID. Um, there's, there's so much that COVID has actually accelerated us towards a digital lifestyle. And realistically speaking, this is what we are doing. We are making a difference in people's lives, leveraging on technology and applications that come with it. Applications to us drive experiences. We believe in developers, we believe in applications. And ultimately, me and you are engaging like this because of an app. Yeah. That app delivered on an MTN platform just really gives us that uh, comfort that we are definitely giving people access to a connected and modern connected life. 
It's a, a really significant why that. I mean, if you if you think of the impact, telemedicine and the fact that you could potentially play a role in improving healthcare, saving lives, uh, financial inclusion. I was on a panel the other day with one of your yeah. colleagues talking about the fat F and you know how fintechs are thinking about this. But he says, you know, Michael, what we're doing at MTN is we're providing a way for people to remit funds uh, at a lower cost. And therefore, the guy who's working overseas for his family can can support them because less is being taken by intermediaries. That's my why, and, and that's a pretty big why, financial inclusion. It also means that you're not probably going to have all the answers all the time. And that's why I find this partnership with Microsoft so interesting, because it looks like a really good collaborative partnership. What makes Microsoft a great partner for MTN? Yeah, Microsoft partnership with MTN really excites me. Um, it excites me because Microsoft really accelerates us towards this uh, tech core play. <clears throat> you can imagine a situation where MTN had to invest in um, developers, build applications like the one that we are using now, really break into the financial services market with their own applications. The speed to market would really, really hinder the difference that we want to make in the market. Mm. So when you look at uh, the Microsoft bouquet of products that enables modern workplace, which is really just the ability to work from it, the ability to access PowerPoint, Excel, um, and all these traditional technologies that we use in the office from anywhere. Um, the ability to leverage Teams and Teams calling, Office 365, infrastructure as a service that is consumed on a pay-as-you-use basis. Microsoft has brought all these and available globally for anyone to use them. So MTN's ability to aggregate services from a connectivity, applications, um, and give customer one bill for consuming all these services as a cloud uh, um, um, for, for in, in a cloud manner is really something that basically said Microsoft is a best partner to enable the enterprise penetration that we want and we are able to leverage their pay as you use uh, ability to complement the way we generally sold our services because subscription, payment model has always been quite strong from a telco point of view. And uh, yeah. it's just kind of like a natural fit for us in terms of our transition towards a tech core. Mm. Yeah, it was Colin Erasmus, the CEO at uh, Microsoft, to say that I was chatting to the other day about the future of work. And, you know, he was really strong on this, being able to leverage these kinds of partnerships, but also to drive down access and costs because ultimately it's a win-win. More people using their products, more people making use of MTN services and having this impact where no matter where you are in, in this bifurcated economy, because we still have a kind of first, second world economy type structure that we can bring in a lot of the informal economy mm -hmm. and these digital barriers start to come down. And that's what really excites me because then we start to see new business we see growth and we see all of the prosperity that can come out of that. Can you just give us some examples of how this partnership will, will really help businesses that are really MTN clients right now? Yeah, so MTN, MTN currently has got customers that are consuming technology company, uh, uh, services from our data centers, right? Um, we already have IoT services that we are currently selling to our existing base of customers. We've got some security products that we are already driving through our customers. And all of these uh, uh, pillars, you know, data center, IoT, unified communications, these are data generating capabilities. Now, if you look at the MTN ability to drive um, and extract that data, make sure that the data is driven uh, uh, um, from an analytics point of view, bu building business, um, um, uh, call it business models, 
um, to help companies transition towards being digitized businesses. This is really the big value that we are looking at in terms of enabling these businesses. Um, IoT, just as an example, IoT with the data rich uh, 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 capability that it comes with, think about a situation where we take that data, we put it on an Azure IoT platform and be able to expand that beyond just being able to track movement of assets, but really getting into the data leverage machine learning that is embedded in Microsoft um, in terms of this ability to firstly uh, be able to create value out of that data. If a customer is a agriculture customer and they are already driving their business in a certain manner, data points can show where they can save money, where they can actually optimize their businesses to capture new opportunities. This is really where we are trying to get to by leveraging of this partnership. We don't want to ultimately just be a techco that is not relevant in driving transformation for customer businesses. And this is really where we're taking this partnership, right? Yeah, it really is taking a solutions approach. Now, if you look at the future, what are the future possibilities that a partnership like this could hold that could transform businesses in Africa? Because you've got this huge footprint. Yeah, um, Africa is a very interesting part. And I think we as MTN are sitting in a very unique position purely because of our penetration and coverage within the African market. It is a known fact that infrastructure development within the African market is really still lagging behind and it does create a digital divide. Mm -hmm. If you look at the African market, I mean, data shows you that just under a billion people still don't have access to internet from an African continent point of view. And uh, we have a responsibility to make sure we take connectivity to those people and be able to give them a modern connected, bring them the benefits of a modern connected life. People in Africa also want to have access to global opportunities of doing business. People in Africa also want to have the benefits of accessing a school curriculum from the comfort of their own homes. People in Africa are also interested in connecting with people via social media, via gaming, accessing information through video, and, and obviously connecting with the world the same me, way me and you are connecting. We are really changing people's lives by accelerating a cloud-based deployment of technology in the African continent. And uh, we want to drive the same narrative when it comes to technology from an MTN point of view throughout Africa. This is what excites me about Africa and technology relevant within the African continent. Yeah, it, and it just, you know, it amazes me. One of my favorite movies over the last few years was Parasite. And if you think what, how, you know, the budget to shoot a movie like that has come down. In years gone by, to do a high-level shot, you'd need a helicopter to, you know, hire the helicopter for the day. And now, you know, for under $1,000, you could probably hook it up to a GoPro and a drone and, and, and film it on your camera. And, if, and, and all of a sudden, you're opening up the world to budding film producers and directors who, who are sitting in the furthest uh, reaches of our continent to bring us stories that will Absolutely. populate Netflix. I mean, the, the opportunities are endless. If businesses Absolutely. want to leverage this partnership between MTN and Microsoft, how do they get the ball rolling? Look, you know what is quite interesting, right? Um, if you look at the transition that uh, Microsoft has done, in terms of really just shifting their revenues from on-premise perpetual licensing business model to cloud. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very interesting. I think Microsoft today is probably delivering two thirds of their revenue from a cloud point of view. Now you're asking a very good question in terms of how do customers do that? Today, um, uh, depending on which market you're looking at, and we are going to enable all markets to be able to consume 
Microsoft services from a control panel in the cloud, from a market, uh, a digital market point of view, where you can access a marketplace online, pick the services that you like, self-provision, and get a bill that is aggregated, one bill wow. with multiple products. So in South Africa today, MTN has got a web store where you can actually access multiple products. Today in South Africa, we have got Teams available, Office 365 available, and we will be switching on Azure uh, platform, which basically opens up a whole host of Azure services um, you know, by March next year. So all you need to do is pick up the phone, call OH3. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking. But in essence, the truth is, you just have to go online, pick the services yeah. that you like, and be able to um, click. We have got a leads that are generated from an online point of view. There is a customer value management team that is sitting there picking up the leads, calling customers back, and making sure that they can help you through the journey. But again, like I said, there is a web store that you can obviously access and be able to pick the products that you like. It's like sitting down and dining a la carte, you know, depending on what you feel like for your business or what you think your business needs. And you can and you only really pay for for exactly what you're using or what you need. In in terms of product launches, uh, do you have any new offerings that have come from this partnership as a as a new product launch? Yeah, so I just mentioned now Office 365, which is the office uh, productivity solution. Um, I also mentioned Teams, which is the ability to do calling, sharing of files, sharing of, uh, you know, more like collaboration capability for people in the same company. Um, yep. We are launching that. It's available. We've productized it and customers in South Africa are able to um, and buy it. We are busy setting up the rest of the countries. And in the first quarter of the new year next year, you will see that our first top six markets would have that switched on and they are able to actually drive customer experience, customer requirements for these products. And the rest of the markets will be staggered into FY23 to make sure that we've got one message throughout the whole of Africa and drive connectivity leveraging on Microsoft applications. That's fantastic. I mean, it's just beyond connectivity. It's really driving business intelligence, driving growth. Dr. Nkosi Kamalo, General Manager, Product and Capability at MTN. Thanks so much for sharing a little bit more about how MTN Group has formed the strategic alliance with Microsoft to drive growth across your digital cloud and enterprise and go-to-market segments here on Business Talk. Have a fantastic festive break, and I'm sure we're going to hear a lot more about this in the new year. Take care. Michael, thank you very much for your time.